Hello, my name is Matthew Beardsall and I'm the lead sonographer at Chesterfield Royal Hospital. I'm going to take you through a patient journey in our ultrasound department. When you come for your ultrasound scan, you will meet experienced sonographers and imaging assistants who will support you during your scan. They understand that this can be an anxious time for you. To help ensure your visit goes as smoothly as possible, please read the information leaflet that is sent out with your appointment letter. There may be some things you need to do before coming to help us get the best pictures, such as avoiding eating or filling up your bladder. Every care has been taken to make Chesterfield Royal Hospital COVID safe for patients and staff, as you will see in this video. When you enter the building, please use the hand gel stations. There are a number of these at each entrance, with more located throughout the hospital. If you aren't already wearing a face covering, you will be able to pick one up at the hand gel stations. We request that you come into the building alone, if possible. Friends and relatives can wait outside or in the car. However, if you require the assistance of a friend, relative or carer, then they can accompany you. They are also asked to use the hand gel stations and wear a face covering. Please make your way to the ultrasound department, which is located along the corridor in Blue Zone. If you are unsure of the way, ask at the main reception desk or follow the signs. You will notice signs on the floor reminding us all to keep to the left and remain two metres apart. Some areas also have a one-way system to prevent people passing close to each other. On entering the ultrasound department, please go to the reception desk. There are see-through screens to protect everybody while you are checked in. The receptionist will ask for your name and date of birth and may ask some other safety questions. You will then be asked to take a seat in the waiting area, which has been arranged to enable social distancing. Please keep your face covering on at all times within the ultrasound department. When the scan room is ready, a sonographer or imaging assistant will call you through for your scan. The room, couch and equipment will have been thoroughly cleaned before and after every patient. The sonographer and imaging assistant will also be wearing face coverings and will use clean gloves and aprons for every patient. Depending on which part of your body is being scanned, the sonographer may be wearing additional protective equipment such as goggles or a face mask. Some scans take just a few minutes, others more than half an hour. It depends on the body area being scanned and the questions that your doctor would like answering about your symptoms. You may need to loosen your clothes or possibly change into a gown. This depends on the body area being scanned. The sonographer will move a probe around on the skin over the area that will be scanned. Some gel is used on your skin to enable the best images to be taken. This is wiped off at the end of the scan and will not stain any clothing. Occasionally it is necessary for the patient to go to the toilet to empty their bladder before more pictures are taken. If you need any help following the scan, your sonographer and imaging assistant will help you off the scan table and readjust your clothes. You will be able to leave straight after your scan. To exit the department, there is a one-way system through the back door of the ultrasound department but this will depend on how mobile you are and whether you have anyone with you. Your scan result will be sent back to the doctor who requested the scan. If this is your GP, you should contact them to get the result after one week has passed. If the scan was requested by a hospital consultant, they will contact you when they have received the results. Hopefully, we've reassured you that we've made a number of changes to create a safe environment throughout the hospital and in the ultrasound department. If you have any questions, please talk to one of our team by calling the number shown on your appointment letter.